so hello and welcome back to gaming blockbuster well today i will be explaining all the life skills so it's another chamara land guide video on my channel well here there are different life skills as you know gather logging searching mining etc etc so i will be explaining all this life skill as you have very limited number of skill points so you have to upgrade only the useful ones and try to avoid all the useless ones because these are a little kind of problem when you upgrade the useless stuff and then you're like shit what have done so before we actually get into the video first hit the red subscribe button then click the bell icon so you will never miss a notification from me and you have to do it even if you don't know what content i make or even if you're not interested why because it's red color button you can see it and you can just click it and it does not cost you any penny so please do it so before we actually get into the video first tell uh, first let me tell you there are different types of extra bonus skills there if you know then it's good and if you don't then those skills can help you actually get stronger increase your meridian power so first we are just going to climb the tree because i like it and now we get into the video explaining all the life skills first into character then you can see there is that life button so there are all the life skills first we have the gathering basic under the gather skill so this helps you the amount of fiber you get from all those plants so this also increases the amount of the secondary resources that you will get from this so this is very important so always upgrade this to the max level then we come to gathering skills then it gives you 10% chance of less consumption of your energy by using now this will give you the breeds this tranquility skill this will help you increase your breeds so i will explain all this stuff later on in this video now Annie's research gives you that particular Annie's plant means uh, when you farm this Annie's plant there is a chance that you will get those Annie's plant. Now there is Guzzler. Guzzler what increases the amount of food that you can have. Then comes a star study increases the star points. Then soldier on. It increases the load amount of load you can carry. Then there is this humidity resist that increases the resistance to humidity. Preservance that gives you 8 rest. I will explain all this stuff later on in this video. Then uh, this one gives 20 stamina then uh, this is important because it gives you 100 hp so obviously do it upgrade it then this one gives another chance for getting spurts it's a kind of plant that is needed then we come to honor class then there is the local research then lingzi study all these particular are different types of plants that you can farm so you need this particular skill upgraded to farm those particular plants so all these things are important as you can see like vigorousity and dexterity this kind of gives you extra life bonus like hp load humidity resistance this kind of stuff is also important for survival next we come to logging first is logging basic obviously it's the same thing then logging skills it uh, helps you less consumption of stamina then we have bamboo study then we have farm study hyperlentation this gives you breads this gives you increases your bread then we have pine study then again we will have guzzler right there so as you can see it also into the tenfoldness then soldier on then we have the in is star point the aspen study carpenter's grit this is important because this increases hp then we have coconut study manual level increases 20 stamina then we have bridge study then we have bellflower study so all this study are particular different types of secondary resources that you can get from different uh, plants then we have carpenter's will that also increases your eight rest then we have different types of study like sago palm study then we have mango cherry study long leaf study mulberry study sakura study these are all different types of secondary and tertiary resources that you will get from farming different types of trees and particular trees and you need these skills to get those particular secondary and tertiary resources without this skill you will get only logs from those particular trees so these are the essential ones that you need to know from here and always first the logging basic gathering basics all the basic skills needs to be maxed out first we come to mining basics the same thing it will give you additional amount of stones and second tertiary resources mining skills helps you in this consumption uh, of energy then green rock study is important for plj then we have rose gold the uh, lux gold these are different types of gold study minus stamina increases stamina obviously then we have gold research this is also for getting all the secondary and uh, tertiary resources when then we have star study increases your star points uh, then we have fine stone research guzzler against 
minus endurance this is important because for the HP increase uh, hyperventilation increases your 20 breaths then we have black rosary and always mining is very essential always max upgrade all the mining stuff because all these as you can see grade rock uh, then we have jade research white jade research then these are particular things that are essential for making all those uh, fine stones then we have uncommon stones excellent stones all this higher grade stuff is very important so you need to focus on your mining first then we have searching searching skills 10 percent less consumption then this one is important bodybuilding 200 hp training master 100 load then we have high spirited it gives you 100 max energy then we have star study for increasing your star points then we have guzzler again that increases your uh, food bar and then again hyperventilation that gives you 20 breaths so some of the skills are common in all of the basics then we have refining refining is important this first thing is most important refining study this helps you unlock higher tire refining and this gives you to a 40 percent more probability then gives you a 50 percent then we have 50 percent of stamina then unwanted spirit variant guzzler gives you 10 full health so refining study is very important as you can see star study then we have 20 breaths again, soldier on 100 load. There are some of the skills as you can see, they, it gives you all those stuff. But this one is important as you can see poison resistance. It gives you a resistance to poison of the insects during the combat. Then we have processing. It's all those making, you know, like uh, alloy stuff, copper, iron smith, silver smith, all those things. These are for making iron ingot, silver ingot, all this stuff. Then we have leather stuff for unlocking all those leather formulas, better leather, better boards. Then we have stone man. Then we have timber, then it comes with a soldier on which is important as it increases the 100 load, increase capacity of your bag, star study increases the star point. So these are the same stuff that you have seen before. Then this one is important for gives 100 HP, then this one gives 20 stamina. Now cultivator, this, this particular skill is just farming stuff and most of the skills in this uh, will only help you uh, getting the unlimited amount of you know like plant stuff plants that you have from your home and you have to just uh, keep farming it in your plot you know the core pylon you put fields you make your own farm so this is how you actually increase level of this so most of the skills are I, I, in my opinion <laughs> useless so guzzler soldier on star study and heat resistant these are the four important skills i found in this particular skill section last comes the siege this is from those breaking all the ruins as you can see crude cannon city smasher this gives you better formulas then this one gives 20 stamina this one increases your attack while using the siege then there is unwavering gear this was important because it gives you 100 hp obviously star study we have guzzler for increasing your fullness bar soldier on increases 100 load cold resistance increases your resistance from coldness well, and temperature variation cold uh, all this stuff so so far there are all these things that you need to do in the life skill now i will just go and explain all these breeds and uh, you know res everything there is first let me just get a good permission now let's get to as you can see there is the fullness first one is the survival stack as you can see there is the fullness so does the increases that fullness stack first you can see all this fullness the well, fade is about 890 and just increase the full meal and this attack strength by 10% and max load by 10% normal fullness around 400 to 890 slightly 100 is around 100 to 400 and then there is below you know few hungry so it increases your capacity to carry low speed attack and all that stuff now then we have the energy you know like uh, logging, mining, everything consumes amount of energy and fullness every time. So you need this energy stuff, and it keeps uh, this energy. So there is that energy. That's just uh, then we have focus. Focus is very important by hunting those grand basic to focus in like below 60. Then there will be damage done to the beast to get reduced by 70 percent, and the damage you take from the beast will increase. 30% so always uh, keep in mind that your focus is always above 160 because that's the normal and then the two. Now we come to the breed. 
as you can see 1,900 for the big capacity so breathe is important while you are know, like scavenging the water you can pull it with some big features so breathe is important because the breathe works then we have the endurance as you can see 1,000 that is the RES thing that you are seeing there when it is 8 RES so that is the basic endurance now they didn't have any uh, more notes added for endurance like if you click in it it uh, does not work so after endurance there is toxin now what is toxin toxin is sometimes you fight insects they poison you so for this you need antitoxin earrings or antitoxin food so these are the stuff like it polluted toxic all the it's varies from the toxin so the toxin it reduces the uh, uh, chances of getting toxin then this is the chances of getting humidity now this affects your load how much you can carry if you just get damp then you can carry very less food so that's that then we have the survival stats like a uh, feeling of very cold staying in normal feeling very hot so these are all the stuff that you need to know uh, it ties from temperature so all those heat resistance cold resistance affects this so you get a little resistance from the heat and cold temperatures so you can carry on your work perfectly so that is that here so it's all, all the stuff i've explained here starting from life skill and all the extra stuff that is given here so i hope this video really helped you guys now well today i will just keep my video up to this more videos are upcoming and the link to the facebook official group is given below and also don't forget to subscribe like share everything as you know i told you just you have to subscribe and if you don't are not interested in my content so please do it and i will just see you guys in the next video and the third episode of this monster is also on the way so just stay tuned and keep a watch on my channel so i will upload more and more interesting video regarding chimera land and also if there are new upcoming good mmorpgs i will also make videos on those particular new games also so i will see you guys goodbye and i will meet in the next video see ya